Today we're gonna make angel hair or capellini pasta with spinach and sun-dried tomatoes. Bring your water to a boil because this dish comes together ultra quick. The reason why I cut the sun-dried tomatoes just into roughly three long strips instead of having just maybe 20 of the large ones, now you have probably 40 or 50 pieces of the small ones. As far as why I drained the oil, you know, you can reuse this for another purpose if you want, or you can toss it. I get comments constantly about, what are you doing with that? Why are you throwing it out? Some things you throw out, that's just how it is. I take it out because I want this dish to be the best that it can be. And I wanna use good extra virgin olive oil in here. I don't want the safflower oil or the sunflower oil or whatever other really oil is in there. As far as the herbs go, the basil, you can save to the end and you can hand tear it. And that typically works better. If you have an extremely sharp knife, like I do, you can cut it. If you don't have a very sharp knife, you're gonna bruise your basil. If you bruise your basil, it's gonna turn black right away. And the monster pan again, the best pan in the world. I should just be selling this pan. That's what I should be doing. So we'll do a whole pound of pasta, we'll probably do two pounds of pasta. If you do use a stainless steel like I'm using, let it heat up for two or three minutes so that the oil will skate and that everything you cook will not stick. And really with a stainless, you really don't ever have to go above medium heat. I got it at medium low right now. Turn the heat to medium. You can let this reduce a little bit. I have my water already boiling here. Just remember the angel hair cooks extremely quickly. So essentially we're just gonna be plopping it in there and then we're gonna be taking it out. And I'm gonna let this reduce a little bit more before we put that in there. All right, so that has reduced enough. You can see there's barely any wine or liquid in the pan. So I'm gonna go back to about medium low here. Two tablespoons kosher salt. Just really are on the side of undercooking it, keeping it like harder. You, could, you can always just finish it in here, but if you overcook your pasta, you're done. What you wanna do when you're cooking angel hair is you want it to be tasting it the whole time. Okay, right away, you wanna, be, you wanna be touching it and tasting it. And you wanna stir a lot because it has a tendency to stick. I'm gonna take a ladle of pasta water to start. Okay. That's good now. Okay, take it, as do as best you can, get it right in. Try to get all the liquid to stick. If you're too dry right away, take another ladle of pasta water. I have my heat on medium low. Take a bite. Good. Turn the heat off. Add all our spinach in. Try to get the pasta on top of the spinach. It will wilt the spinach. Add a little bit more pasta water. (laughs) 
Remember, my heat's been off the whole time. You gotta be careful with it. It can really overcook. I'm gonna start with about one and a half teaspoons of salt. That was so delicious like that, I forgot to put in all of the basil and parsley. So now it's just gonna get better. I make mistakes. So here's all that basil and parsley. See you next time.